So I'm waiting in line for my medicines and I thought, hmm, I have a no tolerance, no tolerance for people that are bullies to people that struggle mental health issues. You know, long time ago, we called retarded people and I guess they made fun of them and paraded them around. But when I hear people bullying people that are suffering mental health issues, I, even people that work with them sometimes, um, it's not going in a good direction if you're bullying somebody who's very sick in the brain, chemical disorder, could be also related to stress like abuse. Um, so I think we need to have a non-bullying clause in our school systems and learn in brain health, learn brain health in, um, in our STEM programs and then also have art therapy for the kids suffering something, you know, either mental health or uh, abuse. Because um, when a child acts up and, and is disagreeable in the class, there's something going on. You know, maybe they, they have too much energy. Maybe they need to go outside and play a little bit. But, um, yeah, there's a no bullying clause at, at World Preschool to anybody, really. Especially when you don't really get into the understanding of what that person's going through, you know. And it's just ugly, you know. That's like schoolyard antics from... I just... <laughs> You know, if, if someone's paralyzed in a wheelchair, you don't bully them. You, huh, you can't walk. That's mean. So is bullying somebody with a mental health issue.